Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a staff account on Shopify. We all want to be jack of all trades and master it too. Who doesn't? But do you think it's possible? It might not be impossible task to do, but it definitely is a difficult one to achieve. On Shopify, you can hire staff to do the task for you. Only the account owner can create and delete staff accounts. Staff accounts allows your staff to complete basic admin tasks while restricting their access to sensitive information. Staff accounts also let you see updates and changes made by each staff member in your store's timeline. Now let us walk you through adding a staff account. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that you need to do is to log in on Shopify as the account owner. Go to www.shopify.com. Click Settings located at the bottom left of your Shopify admin and select Account. On the Accounts page, scroll down and go to the Accounts and Permission section. On Staff Accounts, click the Add Staff Account button. The number of staff accounts that you can create will depend on the plan that you choose. On the next page, Enter your staff details. Fill in the name and the email address of your staff. If you don't want to give them full permissions, uncheck the box. Click the Send Invite button to invite them. You should then see a notice at the bottom that they have been invited. The status of your staff account will also be changed to Invitation Sent. Your staff will receive this email. What he needs to do is to click the Create Staff Account button. He just needs to enter his email address, first and last name, and his password. After your staff creates his account, you should see a timestamp on his name. When you click the staff account, you can access the staff account information. This is where you will see the details change the permission, and see the recent login history. If you think that the account is compromised, then you can always delete this account to prevent access. Just scroll down to the bottom, and it is up to if you want to deactivate the staff account or delete it. So this is mostly everything that you need to know in adding a staff account. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!